So a few weeks ago, I was just browsing itch.io looking for interesting games to play. Then I had an idea. What if I look at some game jams happening right now? Maybe I'll find something I can join in. Make my first published game so I have practice in things like marketing and publishing a game. Then that's where I saw this. The one minute game jam. The game jam that only has one rule. Make a game that only lasts one minute. This, this was perfect. A game that I won't spend a lot of time working on and has a pretty good hook into it. But then my unga bunga brain told me. So yeah, I want to make a game with a good story, multiple endings, make the art look good and make it under a week. Sure, but it only lasts one minute though. Uh, hi, how's it going? The name is Silurus and this is how I made an action game, but it only lasts one minute. Before we start the video, if you can consider leaving a like, it will take like 5 seconds, it will greatly help out the channel, and if you want to keep track on any future projects like this one, consider subscribing, you can always unsubscribe later. Anyway, onto the video. So when I heard about the 1 minute rule, the idea I instantly came up with was a story about Mafia, where the Don goes like, I'll give you 1 minute to not die. And since I only had about 7 days to finish this, I just rolled with that. So I spent about a day just trying to come up with a good plot, different endings, deciding where I wanted the story to go, just you know, brainstorming in general. I decided that I'll go for a tragic story with a lot of bad endings and mix up some good ones that are way harder to get. So after deciding on all that, that's one thing off my checklist. So next on my agenda is art. I had to decide on the style I'll be using for this project, something I can do pretty quickly and manage to do consistently. So when I was thinking about this, I was just listening to chill music, trying to relax, and a thing caught my eye. You know in these music videos and movies where they use very cinematic colored lighting and stuff? Like neon lights or something. The one I was watching had the right side completely black and the other softly lighted by these cinematic colored lights. I was very intrigued by that. So I went to my two very great friends, Simplification and Copyright Free 4K Images. After a bit of experimenting, the art style had started to finally take shape. And then with that, I made a whole goddamn cutscene for the plot with about 28 frames or something and now my will to live is gone. Successfully. We can move on. So about two days in maybe, I finally got into the gameplay for the game. I didn't really want the actual game to be just one minute, only the gameplay. And the host of the jam said that the game isn't strictly just one minute. It was up to us to interpret the theme of the jam. So I took a few things to prolong the game further than just a minute. One is to make a cutscene at the start, which is not necessarily gameplay, so it doesn't count. And the other thing is making it really, really difficult so the player would need to restart and retry the game. The idea was for you to fight this buff dude which is the muscle of the mafia organization, and what you do in the fight affects what ending you get. So let's just get started in making the game. As every Godot developer has probably experienced when prototyping, you start with a squish Godot and a small Godot, making the squish Godot for the ground and the small Godot for the player. And to make things move, I just did the little Control c Control v action for my game Project Wisp, a game that I'm currently working on if you didn't know, to this new game so now small Godot can move around. So now how do we make it difficult so the player will have to repeat the game again and again? I'll let you in on a little story. So one day when I made a friend playtest my other game Project Wisp, he said, you could add more things the player can interact with. So I made the light bulbs on that game into rigid bodies. So they became kind of like rock dolls. So now I had this genius idea of making the arm of the player where he has his gun into rock dolls you can't control. So with that idea, I attached two rigid bodies into small Godot and it looks like this. And then I did a bit of code and now small Godot is now small Godot equipped with lethal firearms. With these in place, it's time to finally merge art and the gameplay. Basically, it's time to make the level for the boss fight with the muscle. First, I had the ground completely black to follow the art style. I then filled out the background with books for the room of the dawn. After exiting the room, you are then greeted with a long corridor. I also added this clock that represents the one minute and how much time you have left. With these, the only thing to finalize is small Godot. So now, even if it's fun festering the dawn with my little wonky arm, I needed to make small Godot into an actual character for the game. So I settled with painting poses rather than animating everything since I don't have light speed powers to animate all of that in like 4 days left in the jam. So now the game kind of looks like this. Another thing I did to make the game harder is that the buff muscle dude can kill you in one hit and he moves faster than you, he can outrun you and damage you with his bare hands. 
After that, I decided that was probably enough pain and suffering for the players. Any further than that makes others probably hate the game, so I moved on. But of course, we need a name for this game. So far, I've just been calling it uh, Desertor because there's already a game called Deserter, so I made it uh, Desertor. But I changed it into Minuto. This just means minute in my native language. Yes, I know, very creative. So next on my list of problems is uh, s sounds and music. This was a huge problem for me. I've never been this far before. This is unexplored territory for me. I have no musical skills or whatsoever. Thankfully, I met a composer in the Jams Discord server named Trash Cat Music. They didn't have a team yet like me and agreed to help make me the game. In the end, we settled on two original soundtracks for the game, one for the cutscenes and the other for the actual boss fight. It turned out really well, they were really really talented, the style of the music he was doing was more like orchestral so it really worked well with the Mafia theme. I'll link their channel and website below if any of you guys want to check it out. They're really talented and deserve all the praise they can get. So now the only main problems I have are the endings. So I made some ending screens, made some cutscenes, coded how the player can get different endings, made my friends playtest the game. Now, there's about 8 different endings that you can get in the game. 7 are like the intended endings but there's an ending 0 which is just frustrating to get. So I don't recommend it to people who just want to play the game. But if you're a completionist, just try getting off the endings. You can let me know in the comments or the Discord server. Links in the description. And the game is almost done. Now I just need to post it on itch, submit it to the jam, make a trailer for the game. Make a trailer for the game? Now, there's over 200 entries for this jam. I don't know if that's big number for an unranked jam in itch, but I need to do something to stand out. One problem is I never made a trailer before, but you know, I don't know, I edited before. What's the worst that can happen, right? So after watching some YouTube videos about making trailers for indie games, I made this scuff trailer for the game. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. To see the unedited version of the trailer, it's in this channel, you can just watch it. I probably won't make any of these for the game unless there's like a game breaking bug or something. If you want to play this game for yourself, the link is in the description. It's completely free, try to get all of the endings. So yeah, that's how I made my first ever published game, an action game that only lasts one minute. And if you're still watching, of course, subscribe!